Hello, hello. Thanks for coming back. Uh, this is going to be the second uh, second video, I guess, in this little playlist I'll, I'll end up making here um, of the dreams that I've been given. Uh, so these is, this is going to be a collection of some shorter dreams that I've had um, starting after the, I guess you call it the wake-up dream that I had in August, uh, right? The first dream in, in about five years that I had, at least remembered anyways. Um, and from there I had a series of uh, five or six other dreams, um, you know, relatively close together. Uh, let's see, uh, since August to November, August to October, somewhere in there. Um, so yeah, um, another short dream I had, I was in a airport. Uh, it was the only, what do they call those things, uh, gate, right, with the table out front. Um, so I was at the gate. I was like maybe, you know, 12th in line. 12th, you know, I say 12th because that's my favorite number. It was, you know, somewhere in there, 10, you know, 10, 11 people in front of me, 12 people, you know, whatever. Um, and I look back behind me. It's the only gate in the entire, you know, airport. Um, the sign on the destination uh, didn't say anything. It was just white. You know, you know, it was just, it was lit up, but there was no, nothing on it. Um, I look back behind me and, you know, as far as, as far as the eye can see, it was just, just a line of people and it seemed to never end. It just kind of faded into, into nothing. Right. And, and the airport wasn't like a normal airport where, you know, there was other people or there were shops and it was, it was literally like, uh, you know, it was, it was like, there was a floor and then everything else was white around it. And it was just a real long line. Um, and that was it. And I woke up. Uh, a little later on, I had another, this was another day. Uh, I had a, a dream. Me and my wife and, and a friend of mine were on a kayaking trip. Um, we had pulled our kayaks out to kind of go get something to eat. Um, and then when we had come back, we were pulling the kayaks back down to the river, and we were told that we couldn't go this way, that the river was closed. And that just didn't sit well for me, so I was like, well, no, we'll just find another way in. And so we backtracked uh, just a little bit, and uh, I found a small, uh, very tight little path, um that led out to the main river. Uh, and so we hopped in there and we were able to get back out onto the river. And I asked my wife, um, you know, how long until we are there? Um, and she said just uh, in a couple more bends or just another bend or just around, that was her words, just around the next bend. That is what she said and we would arrive. Um, and yeah, and that was my dream. Uh, I had another one. It was a wedding dream. This one was really short. Uh, I was just in the, call it the, uh, where the reception would have taken place, right? All the tables and the chairs for everyone, all the guests to sit at. Um, and I was not a worker or not, uh, I should say, not like a caterer worker. I was, um. I want to say I was like a groomsman, um, just helping to set up everything to make sure everything was going to go smoothly and and uh, to go well. So I was like, uh, yeah, I was like a groomsman in that sense, um, helping to to set up the reception hall. Um, that was that dream. I had a, another dream where it was again, it was really short. Uh, it was just, there's multiple moons in the sky. There's two or three you know, planets or moons or, you know, whatever you want to call them uh, in the sky. And then um, 
more colors in the sky. Uh, like the very first set of dreams that I had with the colors in the sky right before, I would say, you know, the rapture event, the, the escape, um, which, yeah, I won't get into my interpretation. Um, so it was that dream. Um, I guess actually really early on, and this is again, this was in like 2015. I forgot this the first time. Uh, I had talked about that dream, but I had a second dream very shortly after that dream um, in which, again, this was before I was saved. I was basically, I was just in the middle of the wilderness, right? There's trees all around, um, and it was just a big open field. And, and around the outside of the field where the trees were were a bunch of cabins all the way around the field. In the center of the field, there was a big uh, vegetable garden, fruit and vegetable garden. And I just had that feeling of we were there because we were outcasts or we were shunned from society and it was a safe place to be there. Um, but for whatever reason, we were not a part of society, you know, in, in large anymore. Um, I thought that was interesting as well. And then I had a vision, at least I'm calling it a vision. I don't know what it was, a daytime dream. I, you know, I wasn't sleeping. Um, and I didn't like totally zone out of, of where I was. I was at church and my pastor was on stage and I was looking at him, but it was like the image overlaid what I was looking at. Like it was an image on top of an image. Um, so I was still aware of everything that was going on in the background. I could still see everything, hear everything, but I had another image in front of me that was on top of that. Uh, it's kind of weird. So I'm calling it a vision. I don't know if that's what it was, but that's what we're going with. Um, I saw, I was out I was like in um, space or in the atmosphere, in the sky, right? And I was looking down on Earth, uh, and I had seen uh, these. I saw it first, right? It was just one fireball coming, one giant fireball. Um, and then I had looked, I you know, panned back, turned left, right? That fireball was to my right. I looked left again, uh, down at the Earth, and then I looked back right again, and now I saw a whole bunch of fireballs, and what was on the fireballs were, uh, basically, it was, it was humanoids, but they were demons, um, and they had, like, reins, like a horse rein, um, on the fireball, and they were riding the fireballs down to earth. Um, yeah, it was pretty interesting. I mean, it was short, quick little vision, I guess. Um, and that was it. So this was a little collection of some shorter dreams that I've had. Um, they were all relatively close together. You know, uh, like I said, I started getting dreams again in August of 2020. And I think all those that I just talked about, um, and then I'm going to get into another one in the next video, happened, you know, within three months total time. So August, September, October, yeah, maybe in a November, right around there. Uh, that's when all the all the dreams were, and haven't had one since. Um, but yeah, so I hope that helps. Maybe some of you have had similar dreams. Uh, if you have, awesome, great. Drop them in the comments. I would love to hear about them. Um, I think many people have had. Well, yeah, I know, I know lots of people have had real similar dreams, and I think, you know, at one point, we're putting all these dreams together, we can kind of sort of maybe get a picture of, of what's happening or what's going to happen. The, the tough thing, I think, is putting a time on those events, right? Just because we get them now doesn't mean they're going to happen anytime soon. Um, but they could, but they might not, you know? So it's, it's putting them together and then tying them 
to scripture, right? We got to always go back to the scripture and, and, and see, uh, you know, kind of the order of events and in, in line with where we are on the timeline. And, you know, even that varies. People go all over the place as to where we're at. And, you know, we're, we're in tribulation. We're not in tribulation. We're waiting on the sixth seal. We're waiting on the first seal. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, everyone thinks either we're almost at the halfway point or we're almost about to start. I mean, that's, that's the two main theories that I've seen. Um, so, yeah, I mean, placing the dreams on the timeline uh, isn't always easy, and then placing where we're at on the timeline is also not always that easy, or I guess up for interpretation, we'll say. But those are my dreams. Hope they helped. Uh, take care. God bless.